what's going on guys your boy x here today we're doing that tokyo revengers episode 22 live reaction so last we left off uh sadly baji is gone you know technically killed himself you know um but he left takamichi with some fine words that was able to Mm, I would say gave Takamichi the courage to, you know, stop Mikey, you know, and then also, yeah, and also the charm basically fell out of his pocket, which kind of stopped Mikey as well. But uh, today's episode, if I remember correctly, I think we're going to get like a flashback with how the last episode ended, so we'll see. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> remember though, guys, for more Tokyo Revengers live reaction slash reviews, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for YouTube as well. As leave a like, help your boy out tremendously. And if you want, go ahead and hit that join button, become a member, $2.99 a month. You can click and see what you get with it. I also need to make a video still. <laughs> but yeah, right. About to begin this, guys, in five, four, three, two, one, let's get it. Two thousand three. Whoa, <laughs> nobody meant for it the way he said it. Oh. This fool. <laughs> Ain't gonna pretend I didn't hear that shit. Best in the world. Y'all are thinking too small. <laughs> Stuck in gravity. The best in the damn universe. Mm mm mm. This fool said I'm getting sleepy. This fool's gone. What if he's ever gonna get out of jail? I doubt it, but hmm. Why the hell are you sleep? Hmm. All right, we're back with the motorcycle gang of the universe. I should say Power Ranger gang of the universe or how many they had right there, but yeah. Damn, that fool had the strength to get up there, huh? Mm-mm. <laughs> The Black Dragons. Baji told me. Them, this fool is ready to throw down with everybody, man. Oh, Lord. Let's see what's about to happen. All right, we're back, folks. <laughs> I just knew somebody was coming over today. It hadn't happened in a while, but yeah.
Mm-hmm. That's hack unit. That's the hardest part to everything, isn't it? Making a name. That's, I mean, that's called a friends group. <laughs> that's called a friends group. I don't think you have to be in a gang for that, but. <laughs> God, it sucks looking at like the past stuff and knowing what happens in the future. about to sell a pigeon or something? Oh no, I, what was the idea? How did they even afford it? They didn't even show it just now. They steal it? I gotta be missing something because they sure didn't show how they, they bought that. Oh, okay, so that was it, huh? Damn. Damn. It was Pachi. Man, I got everybody crying. Oh, Lord, even Mikey's crying second time. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they just got here? No sky to scram. I'll just sit here and drink my Coca Cola. I thought they were gone! What? <laughs> Was he taking accountability? Only one still crying.
and the bow and everything just well I'll tell you what's that first 2005 One death and one arrest. Damn. Still call it the bloody Halloween, but we only lost one person this time. Two weeks later. What's the next after this? I mean, like, I'm wondering when he goes back into the present. God damn. Talking about the damn chief. So it's chief of like some ramen or whatever. That's what it looks like. Next three years. <laughs> Damn, who the hell is this? Yeah. Oh, my God. I actually liked his hairstyle back then. About to see him face off against Baji or something. <laughs> the insane delinquent. <laughs> oh, my God. Which one is Baji? a whole nother character. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess, I guess I would be changing my life, too, if I got held back. Didn't make my mom cry. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. Well, they actually became cool without him even attempting to fight him, looks like. Shit. <laughs> I mean, oh, there he goes. I'm about to say, I mean, with all them people they got, they could jump his ass. The hell's that a mop? <laughs> Where did he even get this mop from? <laughs> Him in his fucking suit, dog. Oh shit. Time to get my suit and tie on. That boy over here about to pull out the Clark Kent. Went from Clark Kent to Superman real quick. <laughs> He's speechless. Oh shit. God damn, man, he was such a cool character. Why is this man dead? This is the first person I ever showed respect to. Wow. Wow. So that's where it happened. And Oh, he's in a juvenile detention center. Ten years? 
Ten years? Yeah, really? Huh? Ten years? Huh. I guess he's in a juvenile. Hmm. Well, then again, I guess maybe if they were real detectives, they would have saw he stabbed himself also. So I, I mean, that's debatable. Man, Mike is a real one for, uh, because all the shit this man has done, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> he a real one. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so, man, oh my God. So, we got a few flashbacks here. We got, well, you know, we got the aftermath of what happened before that we got the flashback with how they got that charm and basically uh before they created the gang you know they went to a shrine and basically Kazutora was getting like i guess i don't want well, to say bullied i guess he lived in the vicinity of these people called the black dragons i don't know if they're gonna be important later on i feel like if they mention it maybe but i don't know but uh back then you know he was getting like beat up by them so you know mike was like you know hey we're gonna you know we're gonna step to them we're gonna make a gang also and everything and then you know everybody was like mentioning what their role was was gonna be in the gang and basically mike was like i want a gang uh, base, or well, you know, well, it wasn't him or Baji, can't remember. Uh, but basically, want a gang where basically we can all, um, you know, look after one another, basically. And I don't know if I missed something that I kind of want to go back. But um, when they were about to buy the charm, they all like you know pulled their money out of their pockets and they didn't have enough. I honestly, well, I think it was like five thousand yen, but I think in total they only had maybe five hundred. I don't even remember how much, but I know it was low. And he was like, "Wait a minute, I got an idea." And then all of a sudden they got it, and I was like, "Wait, what happened?" <laughs> so I don't know if I wasn't paying attention how they got it, or they like they stole it or something. But regardless, they got it. And he gave it to Baji to hold on to since he was the one that started it all, I guess. So, you know, that's what we got. And the police finally show up to the scene. I swear in this anime, the police and the ambulance, they're, they're so late. I don't know. But they finally make it. And it takes so long, you can hear the sirens. And they had a whole conversation before they even came. But everybody like dipped out. I thought about I, I thought about how it had been left, but it, it showed them still there, and they left. The other people that were there, they left. And uh, Kazutora was basically like, "Hey, you guys go. I'm gonna stay here with Baji Body and take responsibility for this." Kind of like what Pa did um, uh, back with the other thing that happened, right? Yeah. But uh, you know, he said, "I know you can't forgive me for what happened to your brother or for with Baji, but you know, I'm gonna do whatever it takes." You know, and he did little bow and everything. Mikey didn't say anything to him; he just like left, and they all left. You know, and they all crying and shit. Still, that was that was nice. But yeah, boom, they left. He got arrested, and then we got to see the backstory for uh, what's his name, Chifu, Chifu, whatever. Uh, which he apparently was like the the tough guy at his school or whatever until Baji came when Baji came But it was funny because when Baji came This fool looked like a like a full-on nerd who had the suit and tie going on the glasses He had his hair tied up and shit. And he was studying and basically he was just like, you know I, I don't want to fail again because you know my mom will cry or whatever. So that was funny uh, And it was funny because he didn't even like at first, Chifu went to go, like, you know, beat him up or whatever, but he looked at him, he was like, what the hell? And he, like, backed off, and later on, he went back to him, and he was, like, helping him, like, um, well, helped him with, like, the correct pronunciation, like, the, the writing pronunciation of Tiger or whatever, and he just seemed interested in him. 
So later on, he was about to get jumped by this uh, bike gang, but then luckily Baji came through, and we know who Baji is with this fool. Then if boy Baji took them glasses off like Clark Kent turned to Superman, but fuck, <laughs> he just started whooping everybody ass. So that was funny as hell. And that's when him and uh, uh, Chufu and Baji became good good friends. They even actually lived in the same uh, complex, so that was funny as hell too. And they, that's where he came with that sharing the, um, I forgot what it's called, I'm just say ramen, sharing the little thing together. And, you know, uh, Shifu went to his grave and he brought it there and he was like basically crying like, you know, what else, uh, what am I supposed to do now? Then Mikey came next to him and stuff. He didn't say anything, but yeah. And later on in the episode, uh, we get to see, um... Draken and Takamichi, they go visit, um, they go visit what you would call it in, um, the juvenile vicinity. And he only got 10 years. He only got 10 years, which was crazy to me. But then again, like I said, if the, um, if the people are doing their job correctly, I guess they would see, like, maybe somebody stabbed him in the back, but then maybe saw that he stabbed himself. So, maybe they'll be like, why the hell did he do? Like, I, I, I'm actually curious how that would go in court. Like, I don't know, actually. But, yeah, 10 years does seem light to me. But then, since this is the juvenile, I guess, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, since he's, like, a young age, um, that's why he got off, like, on a light sentence, right? But 10 years, so I'm curious where he is in the future is what I was getting at because um, if I remember correctly, I think it, I don't want to say it might be 10 years into the future. So that's interesting. Yeah, I, I'm actually curious where Kazutori is in the future, like in the present day. But uh, he, uh, I do like the ending right there because um, at first he was basically, I guess he was going to commit suicide or try to get himself killed while he was in there. And then Draken was basically like, don't, don't, don't die. And then he was like, I got a message from Mike. And he basically was like, um... You know, uh, he he basically said, I forgive you. He just said that at the end. Strong words, man. Strong words, I forgive you. And, you know, man, just started crying. And that's how the episode ended. So, this was a very good episode. Nice little end to the uh, bloody Halloween. Uh, it did say, what was it, five days later? Or, no. Or was it two weeks later? I can't even remember. <laughs> Shit. But it was a time skip between when Baji died to where we are now. But not not a big time skip. I think it said I think it said two weeks if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, man, they skipped over my birthday. <laughs> they skipped right over my birthday, man. Uh, but yeah, great episode. Uh, what do we got? Two episodes left now, I believe. Um, I'm curious what we're gonna do now or like what's what's the next because we know who the bad guy is now And I don't know why they haven't told Mikey what Baji told him yet I maybe they have I have no idea, but this is gonna be very interesting to see what's next, right? So um, that's all guys remember for more Tokyo Revengers live reaction slash reviews Y'all make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel get also uh, hit that join button if you can become a member join your boy 299 a month boom check it out for yourself uh, Also follow me on Instagram Twitter my Facebook game page and discord all the description box below if you Like the video guys like the video it helps your boy out tremendously comment that your favorite part of the episode was and as always guys It's been your boy X and I'm out deuces